Oh, uh -oh. we're stuck between a rock and a rock. Uh oh. This is freaking cool! Make sure you guys have a good We're good! Woo! Oh, sweet! <laughs> so crazy! This is wild! <laughs> what is up, everyone? If you're new to the channel, my name is Jesse. Our channel is called Adventure Endeavor. Me and my wife, Melissa, have been traveling the country for two and a half years out of our RV. That little Nasher over there. We do RV related content, we do adventure stuff, hiking, biking, off-roading, almost anything you could think of, we typically do it. Today, we got a super fun activity planned. Today we are heading out to the National Lakeshore here in, where are we, Wisconsin, um, the Apostle Islands. So we're pretty excited, we're gonna bring our inflatable raft, we have couple friends coming with us and it should be a good time we were not able to float or to paddle at pictured rocks unfortunately because the weather was just terrible and like you guys know yes these are lakes but this is Lake Superior and it's like the deepest the largest freshwater lake in the country so you got to be careful because the waves get huge it can get nasty out there today wind is looking to be about seven miles per hour we had friends go this morning they said it was good and they said they had a great time. So we're excited and we're excited that you guys are here to watch and come along with us. A few moments later. Are you guys ready? Yep. We're gonna paddle out there, way out there. There's a sailboat. We're going to that point. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Past those kayakers. There's a little sailboat. That's where we're going. So we're ready to roll. We got the kaboot. We have one kayak. We have an inflatable uh, double person kayak. And we have one paddle board. And obviously you can tell there's a bunch of rentals that they do here. So if you're interested in a rental, um, there's companies all over. They do let you know, like they have you check in with the ranger just so they know who's going out and coming in and whatnot. Kind of nice, makes you feel a little more safe because like we said this is a big lake and it can get nasty but you can see there's tons of people doing it they're with a guide but still we have common sense we have a big group we're going with we have a whistle whistle is important and we got drinks we got sunblock we got all that stuff so we should be good to go Are you drinking and boating? Or Michael's boating, you're just drinking. Yeah. <laughs> we made it out to the cliffs and we're gonna go under our first cave. It's a tight one though. I don't know. Cave I don't know how it's one. gonna go, guys. I'm gonna deploy canoe paddles. I don't trust Robo through here. Detaching! More maneuverability. Bumper boats! We made it! Cave one! Great success! <laughs> Cave one! Great that was success. great! We did it guys! We did it! We survived! Our I boat. like the manual mode, just a little more maneuverability. <laughs> yeah. Nice! Oh, that's great! Ooh, oh, what's, what's this over one? there? Me think of what is right or wrong. I'm putting on a new We got room for you in our boat! It's totally deep enough to jump. <laughs> what? You want to take a picture? I'm, I'm recording. Oh. Do you have anything good to say? 
Okay, anything insightful? to one of the narrowest canyons and Barbara was the only one that could go all the way down because our boat is way too wide and it's very large. even even Mike and Kate tandem kayak was too wide but Barbara made it a little bit further and it's not that much further though huh just no, a little bit it just goes a little bit further you but can swim in there if you wanted to I know to. we might go swimming in there but let's keep it's going uh, up up the shore and see if there's like some more caves and whatnot whoa low bridge this is crazy! I'm gonna sit on my butt for this one. Holy moly! Oh. Ah. Make sure you guys have room to get in here. We're good! Woo! Oh, oh, sweet! Oh my God. <laughs> so crazy! This is wild! <laughs> Were you guys able to come through those ice tunnels there? No, we just oh, caught no. up to you. Woo. This is so cool. This is so crazy. Oh. I don't know if we're gonna make it! I don't know if we can make it through that one. Can you guys make it out this one or this one? Oh, we Maybe. can't. I don't think we can make it out we this one. We can't make it out that one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go Maybe backwards. We can't make it out. Let me go backwards. Oh, we found. Oh, uh -oh. we're stuck between a rock and a rock. Uh oh. We found the limits of the boat. I don't think we can go out. I think we got to turn. Oh, oh, you're, oh, you're we're going out. for it. We're going for it. Okay. Don't panic. Okay. Don't panic. I think we got it. Yeah, turn the back. There we go. There we go. Just getting a little. Oh, bumper boats. Getting a little. We made it! Victory! We got two out of three tunnels. This is where we came from. Oh my gosh. What? How did we get through there? Okay, so two things. One. Make sure you have a life jacket. Yes. We have your standard life jacket that floats on its own. Uh, Rangers came by in a boat and they did ask if we had life jackets. We did. We don't have to wear them here, but you have to have them. Mike and Kate had those ones that use a CO2 cartridge and they inflate when they hit the water. Those ones have to be worn. We didn't know that. They weren't wearing them. They just said, hey, you got to wear those tight because the way they work. Yeah, and... they're activated by hitting the water. Exactly. Like that, right? They're way more comfortable, which is nice, but mm -hmm. they're activated by hitting the water. Number two, we found the limits of our boat. Oh, I still love it. It's still, I think, the best raft for full-time RVers. But you can't fit through sea caves. Some of them. We've been fitting through some, but... <laughs> There's some pretty tight sea caves, some I Some of them say. are pretty gnarly. So, pros and cons, but overall, this is amazing and yes still highly recommend this boat and highly recommend this activity yeah here in wisconsin love it So now that you have done this, uh, does it does it make you really wish we could have done picture drop? Um, yeah, you know, picture drops would have been cool, but that's also a very long paddle, so I've heard. And this one is a very short paddle, so it's nice and leisurely, and also super beautiful. So I feel like I don't necessarily need to do both. Okay. So okay. I feel I feel content with what we've done. Okay. Yeah. Well, well I'm going to give you my two cents. So my two cents are, we've done both hikes and we've only paddled it here. So we did a 10 mile loop at Pictured Rocks and then we did like a, a five mile out and back here at the, what are these called? The Apostle. The Apostle Island Sea Caves. And I would say that I think the Pictured Rocks hike was better. Yes. Because it's a lot taller. The cliffs are very tall, which and, is really cool. And the hike is longer there, so you get more views of different parts of the And the water is a little more clear there, yeah. is the vibe I got. It's a lot more crystal clear, kind of blue, like Bahamas. Yeah. But this paddle was great because it was a, pretty, a fairly short paddle. You still do need to be careful, though. 
The rain, like I said, the rangers just basically cruise up and down this because it's such a popular area. A seven mile per hour wind according to the weather app and it's gonna drop to six and drop to five. So it should be a really nice and the, afternoon. And the waves are between one to two feet. According which is, to the rangers. Oh, okay. Yeah, which is totally fine. Yeah. With our big Bertha boat. Well, our friend has a paddle board and he's totally fine too. Yeah. You so can see, you can, you can see Eric over board. there on his paddle board. Wave Eric. And he pretty much stood up the whole way. Um, and yeah, it's it's really, it was just great. I don't know. We're heading back slowly. Yeah. And We're letting the wind take us. Yeah, pretty much the wind's gonna take us right back to the beach, which is awesome.